Hello, David Susberg here. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to create your own free astrology horoscope. So you're gonna to navigate to your, your web browser and then you're gonna type in astro.com, A-S-T-R-O.com. And then in the top right-hand corner, you're gonna to navigate to where it says My Astro. You're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna to pretend to log in as though you had an account. And then um, you're going to scroll to where it says create a free registered user profile. You're going to accept their conditions. You're going to enter your, your email. I'm just going to hit a fake one because I already have a registered account. And you're going to do a password, your salutation. I'm a Mr. And today I'm a Mr. Fake name is my name. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're going to select your country. And then you're going to uh, hit OK. Awesome. So now once you have this, you're going to navigate to um, creating a stored astro data. So you click on that. And you can do this for yourself or anyone else. But, you know, as you guys know, today I'm fake name. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to make up a birthday. Let's do the 23rd of January. Let's do 2004. And then you give the hour and minute of the birth time. So this is a 4 a.m. and 23 minutes. And then I'm going to do a birth town. Let's do something fun. I'm going to do Cusco, Peru. Awesome. So I'm going to click on continue. And then after that, um, you can add some more user uh, data for other people if you wanted to. But I wanted to show you guys how to create a uh, a horoscope so you're going to click on that little cursor and you're going to go to free horoscopes and to do all horoscopes by glance click on that and then this is really cool you're going to hit the extended chart selection and then this is where you can select from your your list of different people that you have as your horoscope but i just have only created one today and then you're going to go show the chart but you can do different things on this. You can select the Zodiac house system. All house systems are fine. It doesn't matter what you choose. But I personally like Placidus, so I'm going to click on that. And then uh, you're going to, you can check different planets or aspects if you wanted. Additional objects. This is where you can get asteroids. We can like click on Chiron and make sure Chiron's in there. And then default standards. This is really important. So you want to modify the data if you're in a different area than where you were born. So for this example, I said this person was born in Cusco. And now I'm going to modify the data because they're getting their, um, they're checking their horoscope for somewhere that's different. So I'm not going to use birthplace and I'm going to hit continue. So this is changing the reference place. And let's just pretend they're in, um, they're in New York City. Um, yeah, New York, New York. Then I'm going to hit continue. Awesome. Now they're going to hit the show the chart. Perfect. And that matters the reference point for when you start to add in uh, where the planets currently are, like transits. So this is now, check this out. Fake name, was born in Cusco, Peru. And this is their uh, horoscope. Interesting that they have all these planets over here. Three or more of uh, planets. It's kind of like a stellium, so that it's kind of interesting that most of the planets are on this side of the chart. But yeah, that's how you created a horoscope. I'll get into different videos on how to go deeper with different things. One last thing, if you want to know where the current planets are, so these are the planets when fake name was born in relation to the Earth in the middle. It's a geocentric kind of perspective. So you can click with transits if you click on that. <clears throat> then all these planets in green are where the planets are currently, right? So for example, the sun symbol, which you can reference down here, the sun, the sun's in Scorpio, right? And we know that because it's, it's spooky Halloween today. So <laughs> thank you so much and uh, look forward to, uh, to your comments and your questions and uh, what else you want to focus on. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye.